Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Missouri. Joining us today, you've seen him many times on our show. We have Seth G, and he brings with him a number of very talented musicians, both local and um, from afar. But uh, first off, let's start. Seth, today we're talking about a very important video that you and your friends have created. But before we get into that, how about introduce everyone? I'm Seth. We have with us Emily Curtis, a local musician here in Charleston. She performs all over town, uh, Hotel Bennett, et cetera. We have Tim Davis, member of One Cool Blow, also a local musician here in Charleston. He performs at Cocktail Club and various other venues as well. And then coming, coming to us from New York, we have my buddy Timothy Robinson, a.k.a. Huck Tim, trombone player, um, rapper as well. Um, and he used to live here. We grew up together, and I decided to have him a part of the project because we work together frequently so okay so speaking of this project you know a lot's going on um on several fronts uh throughout our nation and world um tell us about this video you recently produced together uh basically the concept of the video was um to kind of bring together as many musicians in town as i could after um, the riots that occurred here uh, Saturday. I don't know how many weeks ago it was now, but I was actually at uh, Trio performing uh, when it happened and kind of got rushed out and, you know, kind of witnessed everything. And I know Emily Curtis was also playing at Hotel Bennett that night um, and, <clears throat> and, and I kind of witnessed everything. Um, and it kind of really, you know, hurt my, hurt, hurt my heart to see the city like that. So, you know, I wanted to do something about it. And uh, it was actually my mom's idea to write a song about it. And then I kind of got the inspiration from Michael Jackson's um, We Are The World song. Kind of thought yeah. about that. And um, yeah, just reached out to as many people as I could. All my buddies, you know, that I see around town, people that I make music with, and they were all game, which was awesome. And everyone did a really good job and worked quickly to get it done. Um, I know I had Emily and Tim over to the house to record. Um, TJ obviously recorded himself up in New York. Um, and yeah, so that was kind of the premise, and we and we got it, we got it done in about two mm -hmm. weeks, and, and put it out. So it ended up being really powerful. Um, let let's just talk about kind of everyone's role, and when you came together, you all, everyone comes from a, you know different walks of life and different experiences. Talk about some of the ways that y'all all kind of gave your own voice and um, your own perspective to this. So I wrote the hook of the song, mm -hmm. and then um, I sent it out to everyone. And maybe Emily, you could talk about you know writing your verse because she she wrote her own verse, the second verse of the song. Um, so yeah, yeah. So um, Seth reached out, um, was like, "Hey, want to get some musicians together? Would you be down? And would you maybe want to write?" And so I said, "Absolutely," because after kind of my experience personally downtown, I was kind of looking for a way to get it out and you know all the feelings and emotions that I've been experiencing from all of that and um, so for me it was very therapeutic to write that verse and to kind of really say what was on my heart and get it out there and almost as like a confession but also as a um, way to literally extend my hand to everyone around me that may feel um, like they are being pressed down you know. Mm -hmm. I was just in and Emily, do you mind sharing that verse with us? If we're playing the video um, over this, um, you know, as yeah. we, we talk, but we'd love to hear it. So uh, the lyrics for that were, I'm seeing things I never thought I'd see. No words can fix complacency. It's time to take this opportunity to come up with a cure for our disease. I see your hands lifted. I'm here to listen. Let it stir up a passion. We can take some action. No shortcuts on the road to the promised land, but we'll wow. get there hand in hand. Wow, I got chills. That, that's amazing. I'm sure you, like Seth, I can see you smiling um, with that. Um, how about, you know, let's hear from Tim Davis. Like, what, what did that, once you saw and heard that verse and, and everything, how did that impact you? Well, initially, Seth had sent the, uh, the, uh, the lyrics to me and the song to me, and I heard everything. And it was wonderful. So when I initially went in to record it, and I heard all the other parts, and I was just, I was already moved. And it didn't take us that long, because he was there with me. And you can already feel the emotion. And my part comes in right after Emily's. And it was just, it was just lockstep. And it was just, the, all of the musicians sounded great. 
and you can hear all the emotions and all the urgency. Um, it's, it's, it's so ironic because, you know, five years ago, we had this, this horrible massacre that happened at, the, um, at Mother Emanuel, and Charleston came together. Charleston came together on the bridge. I was a part of that. And we, had, we showed the rest of the world how we reacted and we, how we healed. And it was unfortunate after um, that Saturday night when all those riots happened. Um, so it was great for Seth to come together, write that song, and bring all the Charleston, Charleston's, a lot of Charleston's great musicians, mm -hmm. good musicians, because we're full of them, not just us, there's many more musicians out there, to come together and show healing. And we all came together. And it was a beautiful project. And I'm, I'm so flattered and proud to be a part of it. And our friend from um, that's coming from New York, it, it, it says Huck Tim. Yeah, that, that's it, my stage name. I got like five names. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure that you're coming from New York. So, yes. so tell us um, your perspective there, kind of when you're becoming part of this project here in Charleston. Um, well, you know, it's funny. I, I grew up in Charleston, mm -hmm. Charleston, and I went to, I met Seth actually do uh, youth orchestra, I believe. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty, I'm pretty much Geechee forever, but I, I, I love uh, that. <laughs> I came up here to have a career, and um, we've been working a lot together. And he's he sent me the song, you know. It's, I mean, the, everybody knows the world situation is, is just crazy right now, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody's going to do it everywhere. Every city in New York, we had the, you know, the pandemic, and then every, all the protests and um, the police brutality. So my heart is always with Charleston. You know, I try to keep close tabs on what's going on down there. So I was happy to be a part of this. I mean, y'all sounded lovely. I just wanted to play something. You know, I had a short soul. I just want to play something uh, triumphant and hopeful, you know, because as as much as people have been beaten down and downtrodden, like there's the hope there that just never dies. Just keep getting stronger because we keep bonding together. You know, everybody, every different races, different genders. The, different beliefs, different, so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. So I'm just glad to be a part of it with y'all, so. And what, what what type of response have you gotten from people um, when they've seen it? I know it's been viewed many, it many was, times. It was crazy. Um, so I initially planned to put the video out on uh, the Sunday <clears throat> and um, I we had the song done. It was already on iTunes and Spotify. And on Sunday, I was just like, you know what? I don't want to rush this. Um, I don't want to rush putting this out because I wanted to include some of the footage from the city. And um, literally the next day, my buddy Ryan, <clears throat> who's a videographer, photographer down here, he had hit me up already the past week telling me, hey, man, let me should get together. You should check out my stuff that I have. And he had sent me some stuff. But Monday he was like, bro, let's just can I come to your spot? You know, we'll, uh, we can just do it together. I was like, yeah, bro, that would be so helpful. So he came over with all this like protest footage footage of people marching on the bridge, everything that was going down in Marion Square. And um, we sat there for probably two hours and just like, you know, we had already had all the performance videos done. So we didn't want to do too much, but we just added all those little, you know, B-roll shots and everything. And like, when we were done, I was like, wow, man, this really like, it really stepped it up to that next level. Mm -hmm. So I ended up putting it out that Tuesday. And I mean, like immediately it was, it started going like, I think it had like a thousand views in like a matter of minutes. And then from there, went to 10,000, went to 20,000 first day, 50,000. Uh -huh. And then by the end of the second day, it was up to like close to 100,000 views. Everyone was sharing it on Facebook, Instagram. It was wild to me. It was like, so normally, you know, if you have something, you know, go, you know, doing really well, it's normally on one platform. Mm -hmm. um, and I know Facebook and Instagram are like connected, but um, it was doing like numbers on both and people were sharing it to both. Um, and I was hearing from everybody. I know they were seeing the same things on their profiles. Um, and yeah, I mean, the response was just crazy. I don't, and I don't, there was very, I, I don't think I saw any negative, mm -hmm. anything negative to say about it from which anyone. I had like, incredible. which, you know, never happens. Yes. Never happens. Doesn't matter what you, what you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's always someone who's going to say something, but mm -hmm. it really wasn't like that. Like I was, you know, I was on my phone for like the whole first day, second day, just responding to as many people as I could, commenting um, and, you know, just trying to spread the message of the song as many people as I could. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was I, I thought it would do well, but it definitely was unexpected, you know, just how well it did. And um, I mean, it's still growing. So I, I I'm, you know, love to see, you know, what happens with it. So, yeah. 
Well, before we head out, I just kind of want to get a little bit from each of you, just kind of what you believe, you know, the power of music and how it shows through this video that you all collaborated on and it, it made such an impact. What you believe, you know, moving forward, you can do to help bring us all together. Well, I, I'll start. Um, I think just, I think empathy and conversation. And music, yep. music just, music is a universal language and it brings us all together. And if all you gotta do is listen and don't be afraid to, to, to ask those questions because you won't, you won't be able to understand unless you ask. Mm -hmm. and what about you, Emily, do you wanna? Yeah, I think I've always said that when I'm writing something, I'm writing for the people that have those personality types that don't know how to express what they're feeling. And um, when you can put words to, to, to a strong emotion, you can really break through some some major stuff in people's mental health and, and the way they can relate mm -hmm. to other people. So I just think music is almost a supernatural experience. Okay. I, I, I keep wanting to hug Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree with Ali. I mean, y'all put it so eloquently. I just, mm -hmm. I mean, I, uh, before COVID, I mean, I was supposed to be on tour right now, like around the world. and. and Everywhere I go, it's just music, no matter, I mean, people, I can't even understand what they say, they don't know what I'm saying, but they just, music always brings people together like that, it has always been like that. And so I think it's just a great way to get something out, like uh, feelings about the protests or like mm -hmm. police brutality, because like you're saying, those emotions, it just hits you so hard. So I think I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with this track. I, I think it's a universal message. I mean, if they're protesting about this stuff in like uh, Syria, you know, it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, and Seth, you know, you've been such a good friend of the show and I appreciate you sending this to us and, and giving us an opportunity to have this conversation. So thank you very much. And yeah, no head out, just tell everyone how they can um, go and see the full video for themselves. Uh, the full videos are on my Instagram at Seth G Music. It's also on my Facebook, same thing, facebook.com slash Seth G Music. And I know all these guys have posted it as well to their pages if y'all want to share y'all's ads real quick. Um, ours is uh, at One Cool Blow, O N E K O O L. Um, and Instagram, One Cool Blow with a K. Wear your mask too, folks. Be safe. <laughs> yeah, for That's real. Great. I love that plug. <laughs> all right. And Emily? <laughs> Um, so mine is both Instagram and Facebook, mkurt music, so E-M-C-U-R-T music. Okay. And Huck? Yeah, you can reach me uh, uh, on Instagram at, at Tim J. Rob, T-I-M-J-A-Y-R-O-B. And on uh, Facebook, it's my whole government name, Timothy James Robinson. So, uh, gotcha. <laughs> all right, well, again, thank you all so much for being on the show, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. God Thanks bless. Thanks for having us. Stay safe. Yeah. All right, more Living Local is coming your way, so stay tuned. We'll be right back.